what's going on everyone? Tonight, we're actually going to a food and wine over at Epcot for a little dinner and to see Epcot forever. But first, we thought we'd come here to the Enchanted Rose and have a few drinks and check it out. We're actually gonna get food, but we failed to realize that they don't actually start cooking food until five o'clock and that's when we're gonna go to dinner. That's one. So, yeah, let's check it out and see what it's all about. So if you didn't know, the Enchanted Rose is a new bar and lounge that just opened here at Disney's Grand Floridian, and we are finally trying it. It opened at the very end of September. We had a lot of stuff going on, but we finally made it over here. And if you don't know, this is themed to the movie Beauty and the Beast, and actually kind of to the new Beauty and the Beast rather than the original Beauty and the Beast. So there is a library that's kind of themed after Beast's library, and you can find some of your favorite characters in there kind of hidden on the shelves in there. Um, the rose is also there as well. There's also the main bar area and the chandelier is supposed to be themed after Belle's gown from the ballroom scene. And then the third and final room is the enchanted garden themed room. I actually haven't been in there yet so I'm excited to check it out but it's themed after the Enchanted Garden at the castle. And you can actually go outside. They have a little patio area as well with a beautiful view of parts of the Grand Floridian. They have lots of cocktails that are featured here only at this lounge and a lot of food items. So we are excited to try all kinds of things. So Josh and I are getting some cocktails. And if you don't know, which I didn't know, they actually do a few table side cocktails here. So I got Love which is Grey Goose Vodka, Pavon Liqueur, which is from France, Pear, Lemon, Twinings of London, Chamomile Tea, Agave, and Rose Petal Garnish. So they do actually come out here and make it right here at the table sign, and it's in this nice red love glass, and it does have some rose petals sprinkled on top for a garnish. That's actually really good. Josh might actually like this because it's not super sweet, because really, you really get a taste of that tea in there. You kind of just get some sweetness from the lemon and from the agave, and then the pear kind of like mellows it out a little bit, so it's like really not super sweet, but it's just sweet enough for me. It's a really good cocktail. So I had no time at all to pick a drink by my own choosing because I was like doing some other stuff. So I asked what was recommended. They actually recommend the Sunny Margarita, but you guys know that I don't like tequila, so skip that one. I have chosen to get the Island Rose, made with Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit and Rose, Lime, Orgate, which is an almond flavoring, I guess, Pineapple, Bitters, and Rose Water. $15. Here it is. Look at this, it's uh, served with a Cherry? I don't like cherries. It's tough. I'm trying to pick everything that I'm getting inside a drink. I'm definitely getting more pineapple juice in there. It tastes like pineapple juice. But then there is that nice uh, tarty bitterness of the grapefruit that is also in there as well. And it's a nice little balance. I think a lot of times pineapple can be a little bit on the sour citrusy side of things, but it's actually not too bad in here. Now, I don't really know what would it would taste like if it was made with just regular water compared to the rose water. I'm not really getting that depth in there, but overall, I think it's a pretty good drink. I can definitely get a little bit of the lime taste in there as well, and I think that's really helping to bring it all together. And it is pretty good. I like it. Definitely have some uh, little snacks here with the pineapple and this cherry. It's actually not bad. So I think that we have had our fill of drinks, even though we only had one drink each. I think that's that's plenty for today. But this is actually a really beautiful, nice lounge to come and hang out in. And what's even better is that like this is a brand new addition for the monorail bar crawl. 
you guys haven't done that yet, this is uh, a, a great place to come in and hang out. Now, the library lounge, I think is the library, yeah. is actually not even open yet, so maybe they don't open that up till about five o'clock when they start serving the food. But uh, it's, it's pretty nice, so I think, I think we're done here. We're gonna wrap up. But uh, I think there's something on the lens here. Oh, there we go. I am so hungry. I've been starving all day. Welcome to Epcot for some food and wine dinner. So we are walking around Epcot right now. We're actually live streaming. So if you're watching the live stream or you watch the live stream, this is from, this video is from during the live stream. That was really hard for me to say. I don't know why, but it was. But I'm pretty excited to be back at Epcot. We're both excited. It's been forever. And uh, we're gonna go check out Epcot, the Ep what is it called? The Epcot Experience. The Epcot Experience. I was about to say Epcot forever, but that's the, that's the new temporary show. That we're gonna see tonight. If you haven't heard that, yeah, we're gonna watch tonight. So pretty exciting. And uh, everything that I've seen so far, I haven't watched any videos of this place in here, but it looks, pretty darn cool inside so we'll see so it's pretty cool back in here this whole new place they've got two photo opportunities one that's set up for food and wine we've got another one that's kind of like the reimagination and like cool thing of Epcot which is pretty nice and then obviously if you guys also haven't noticed that they've kind of changed this into like an eatery place so there is food that you can get uh, back up I guess what you would say the front and then they've also got some drinks in there too but we've got these amazing like cool murals right here uh, which it's, it's all basically kind of like the concept art for what is to come of Epcot so if you're kind of like confused wondering what's going on come in here Take a look at this mural and you're gonna see basically everything that is supposed to come to fruition for Epcot, which is really cool. Now this is awesome. Check this out. So this is the actual like concept for the new festival building. This is what I've been really, really looking forward to. And I think what's really cool is that look how it is multi-leveled, right? So we've got several levels here, but all the levels contain greenery, which is so, so cool. This is the new festival setting. So I don't know exactly when this will come to fruition, when it will actually be here, but uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. It looks absolutely awesome. All right, so uh, we're live streaming and we're improvising here. We're doing a little behind the scenes shoot while we do this. So I have got, this is the uh, barbecue, this is the Kenyan coffee barbecue beef tenderloin here from Africa. Uh, it's served with a sweet potato, something on the bottom, um, and then like a kamachuri sauce and slaw on top. Looks pretty good. Beef tenderloin. Big bite. Oh, the flavor is there. But um, it's a little tough. I'm not really digging it. Oh, you want to try? No. I love you guys. Hi. <laughs> I did, Marshall. I gotta go take a picture. Yeah, absolutely. Is that like a little creepy? Oh, no, it's fine. I, I don't remember really what was happening there, but uh, all right. Overall opinion of the beef tenderloin here in Africa, it was a little bit, it was a little bit overdone. The flavor was there, it was good, but uh, a little bit overdone, kind of chewy, not really the best uh, thing that I've had here for food and wine. Definitely would not come back and get it again. So everybody on the live stream has been saying we need to stop here in Germany and get this like chocolate shot thing. I have no idea what that is, but apparently that's what we need to do. So that's what we're gonna do next. Nobody might find this hilarious, but I'm gonna find this very funny. Taylor yells at me every single time when we come to Epcot to not shoot any video of the trains, because that's what I always shoot. But guess what? I'm gonna walk over here and shoot some video of the trains because I think they're cool. You guys see all that sweet video of the trains? There are no trains out right now. All 
Alrighty, well, we have now finished the live stream. We're going to actually head back into the Odyssey Pavilion to check That's out... the Epcot experience now. <laughs> we're going to go back and check out the Epcot experience again. Just because, like, when we were live streaming, we, we didn't really... We, we kind of left just because we figured, like, everybody's probably already seen it multiple times. So we didn't really want to stand in there and make everybody else watch it. So since we haven't seen it really in full, we're going to go back. We're going to watch it. Re check it out. Experience it. And, and just enjoy it. And check out all the photo ops that are in there. They have four different spaces, which yes. I mentioned that there was two earlier. So No, yeah, four. Here we go. We are back in the Epcot experience, and there are some great photo opportunities in here. Great things to just take photos of. Ooh, I almost lost my phone. It's already cracked. I'm waiting for my new one to come. It's been on back order for forever. But then tonight we'll see Epcot forever. <laughs> Everything's forever. Get a photo now, I guess. Hi. So terrible at photo opportunity. Oh no, it looked good though. Yeah. I thought it was funny. We'll see. You have weird faces on rides anyway, so I mean it works out with that. I guess. <laughs> yeah. So the hunt is on. Uh, the Epcot experience is actually really cool. I like it a lot. It was kind of nice to have a visual aid of kind of all of the new announcements and changes that are coming to Epcot. You know? And in a really cool way too. Yeah. Like really unique, not just like, oh, here's a poster of what's coming. Right. <laughs> Which is nice. So, I mean, you got like an overview. Well, you didn't really get an overview, but like they showed Gardens of the Galaxy. They showed Mary Poppins. They showed you know, there's a, a water attraction coming for Moana, yep. all those kinds of things. And it was nice. I think it's also great that it just gives people who have like no idea that are totally oblivious to what's going on. It gives them the opportunity to kind of see and, and, and acknowledge like that there is something that's coming. So it's cool. It is now about eight o'clock and we are going to be those people that are going to camp out and try to find a spot for like two hours. I don't really know yeah, what else to do. People. I don't know what else to do. Well, Josh wanted to leave, so we're like, not doing that. Like, I'm super, super tired right now. When? I could take a nap. So I guess. I'll lay down on the ground, I guess. We're going to try and find a spot. I don't know where to go. We're going to figure it out. Two hours later. <gasps> it's about to start like now in less than a minute we're really excited <gasps> wait, wait, wait. first timers here first timers here I don't have a button but first timers here
Oh man, well, that's gonna do it for us here today. Epcot Forever was actually a pretty good show. It was, but there were a couple parts that I just can't help but compare to Illuminations. That's true. At the very beginning and the very end, especially at the very end whenever they shoot out all of like the single lights from yeah. each country or whatever, that was just not the same as Illuminations. But in fairness, it's not supposed to be Illuminations it's not. quality. It's supposed to be a completely different show. It's like an intermittent show, or not intermittent, like a interim show. Yeah. So, but it was so good. I liked the it. The kites were awesome. Kites were awesome. They were great. And the announcement for it was actually like a child's voice. It sounded like, and I yeah. feel like that was their way of like almost hey, we'll stop over you know, here. making it feel like families and kids can be in World Showcase because most I think people so. think I would as agree. World Showcase for adults. Ooh. I think that's very true. Yeah, but like I said, I really liked the kites. The kites were my favorite part. I mean, it's not Illuminations, of course, but no. I think that it's still a pretty good show for the interim until we get this new one. Mm -hmm. I think the new one will be spectacular, you know? I mean, everything that's come to Epcot, I think is going to be great. Yeah, and Epcot Forever, the title, actually kind of makes sense because it incorporates, like... Everything. Old, new, Veggie, current, veggie, fruit, fruit, veggie. <laughs> uh, Journey into Imagination, yeah. Soren, and all kinds of stuff, so... If you so. believe it... You can, yes, we can. Wait, I can't remember how that goes. Okay, yeah, so. World of Motion. <laughs> That's what it was. You never even got to experience that. No, but I know the soundtrack. Alrighty. <laughs> well, that is going to do it for us here tonight at Epcot, everybody. Mm -hmm. We had a long day starting at Enchanted Rose and ending here in Epcot. Very long day. Yeah. But it was a good day. It was. So you can let us know if you've ever been to Enchanted Rose or if you've seen Epcot Forever.